The last method of accessing and analyzing data in Typeform that I want to show you in this course is getting a live report. This is a really interesting thing where it actually shows you tables of the data in a web page, and you can take that information and put it into a web page in embed or make it accessible in other ways. So I'm here in the Analyze tab for my Typeform. I'm going to come down here to Reports. And what I have here is a report that shows how many people have selected each of various responses. So I have the cakes that they like, and it's sorted by popularity. And I can scroll through some of the responses. Wonderful. And we've got information here. And you see it even has the same formatting as the form that I created. Now, in order to use this information, I can put it in a website. Some websites will allow you to embed a web page. You might be able to use an iframe. Squarespace doesn't really like those, so I'm, I'm not going to do that. But you have a couple of options. Now, you see right here, you can either go to General Report, that opens it in its own URL, or you can go to this same one. It's the same address, and it'll open it up. Now, in case you haven't noticed, there is one trick here, and that is that we have these codes. These are the response codes that we have from when we set up the piping. And truthfully, they're really awkward. But in general, if you're using piped answers, then it's going to look kind of confusing and you may not be in a format that you want to share with other people. But if you have just straight text in your questions, then it's going to be adequate to stand alone. And all you need to do is go to this page. I'm going to click on that one right now. And then you see that it opens up in a new web page. And so it's bigger and it's better and people can see it one question at a time. Now, again, you may or may not be able to embed this into your own web page, depending on whether you can add something or use an iframe. But no matter where you are, you can use this link. And you can put that link into your web page. And you can share that with people. And they can always see the most recent updated and fresh data that you have. And that's going to be a simple and beautiful way of sharing the results of your surveys and your type forms so you can start working with people and getting the data that you need for your own projects.